Breaking tonight, a small plane loses its wheel. It was a big boom. He said, there's a the tire. How did that tire get there? She found it right in her yard. Let's get straight to Archer Monterey. Live in Jefferson Park. What's there? Weather where that tire landed? Jermont. Brad and Marie, I'm standing where that tire landed. Now it came crashing from the sky in between these two homes here in the Jefferson Park neighborhood. Talk about quite a scare. Now you can see that the tire is not that big, but when it plummeted thousands of feet from the air, it no doubt forced people to wonder what was that? That includes Rose Bach. The senior did not realize the noise was from a tire's, a plane's tire and she, until she spotted police in the front yard with flashlights. Living so close to O'Hare, planes fly o over all the time, but this one took everyone in this neighborhood by surprise. It was a big boom. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know if it was in my house. I checked the basement. I really didn't look outside. She calls me and she says, they're all by your house. Wow. So he said, there's the tire. How did that tire get there? Bill, a tire is a tire coming from that high. A scary situation. After, the, after finding out what it was, I was mortified. <laughs> like, planes fly over here all the time. You know, something in, so close to the airport. And we're right on the, the landing pattern. So, you know, it could happen. Just fortunately, it didn't happen. And nobody was injured. Now here's a look at the single engine plane. It went on to land safely at O'Hare after an emergency landing. It's a small charter flight operated by Boutique Airlines. The FAA telling us that there were a total of seven people on board at the time, all of them traveling from Michigan. But back here on the scene, everyone is just amazed that this tire did not hit a car, a house, or worse, a person. But most definitely, everyone in this neighborhood has something to talk about, and they're going to be talking about this for quite some time. Reporting live with breaking news in the Jefferson Park neighborhood, Jermont Terry, CBS 2 News. Brad and Marie. Jermont, our thanks.